There's nothing like chasing great big fish with tiny little baits. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and today's video is actually part two of a wonderful day of lake trout fishing I had with my really good friend, Colin Schlicht. He is a guide, I will leave his particulars in the description below, for all species in southern Wisconsin, but today what we're doing is chasing big lakers on Lake Michigan with tiny little spoons. Castmaster spoons from Acme Tackle Company actually is what we were using on what would be traditionally thought of as walleye gear, seven foot medium power rods, spinning rods um, with 15 to 20 pound spider wire type line. So that's what we're doing. It's a wonderful way to pass time in uh, the cold times of the year. As long as you can get out safely, uh, there is a bit of a problem with ice sometimes getting out in in some of the areas in Lake Michigan that we were going out in So please if you try to do this be careful and don't get yourself stuck out on the lake But we got lucky it was the 2nd of January this day And it just so happened that we had a nice long stretch of warmer weather in Southern Wisconsin here, so it had kept most of the ice away We did have to break through a little bit of it later in the day, but it wasn't too bad. So with that I'm gonna get into the fishing. As I said, this is part two, so we're gonna jump right into it and take a look at a couple more of these big, beautiful Lake Michigan lake trout. Like, okay. Yeah, I wasn't watching, so I didn't get to see, I didn't see his head on the screen or anything. <laughs> oh, you got one on yours. He's on yours, he's on yours. Stop. Oh, he just missed it. He just missed it. He's coming for it. Got it. There you go. <laughs> That's a big one too. That's what's so like a long one. Yep. Uh, yeah, keep it nice and loose and take them around the boat if you got some here. Okay. Yeah, this one looked long on the street. This fishing stinks, huh? <laughs> oh geez, these are right below us. Yeah. Yeah, take them around. There we go. Nice and loose on the drag? Yep. Yeah, actually, when I set the hook, it was looser than I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> I here already. Yeah. Oh, he's. Uh -huh. They're tired today. <laughs> Must have been all the ones I've been catching. Oh, oh so you pulled just a little bit too much. Just a bit much. There you go. So yep. we get to see him. Bye bye. <laughs> so that's the only time we're really going to use it is if we try to turn to a net. Yeah. Well, I, sp I suppose too once. Once you kind of get, you're trying to pull back into them and you get a yeah. little funky. Uh... Yeah, that's why when they run away is like the problem. If you can stay right on top of them. Sure. I saw you get uh, pretty concentrated there. <laughs> get this out of your way. Yep, yep, yep. Do a little dance. Ooh, boy. bit of a reach but not bad just shot up on the screen like I just, just like, oh. <laughs> that's awesome man
Good one, man. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Very cool, man. All right. Let's get some more. Yep. Here, I'm going to kind of hold on to her under the water there. I'm going to try to get some. Cool. I mean, when we first pulled up, I was thinking, you know, like 15 minutes, you know, I'm not getting one. Yeah. Else, saw one right away. Here comes, comes, hold it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Take your time, lose yep. your <laughs> just. He just came up out of nowhere. Now the bait's following him too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened pretty quick. I know, he just tucked him fly up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> right over to you. That was really cool. Yeah, take your time. Take yeah. Your time. Let him run it out a bit. Yeah, now he likes his hook. Yeah. Now he just likes his hook. So you're on spot lock. Okay. So if it gets close, you just step on that and we'll turn it off. <laughs> I looked like a nice log when I saw it. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, this one's not happy about a situation. Yeah, it's funny. I got him right up just below the uh, the live scope there, and he's like, "Nope," right back down. <laughs> sure. Yeah, he's starting to. Sure. Okay. But man, this one's got an attitude. No, this, this is more like the fight. This is more like the fight you usually get. I'll take the last couple. Okay. Can I come back up here? Sure. Right. Just starting to see a little color down there. Yeah, I saw him for a sec. <laughs> and he'll probably just go back down the <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, here he is. Oh. 
There we go. With the reach. With the reach. <laughs> I had to go long for him. <laughs> That's amazing. That is so much fun. All right, I might need to get the pliers from you there. Thank you. Yep. All right, buddy. There we go. Perfect, right there. Oops. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. God. Just beautiful blues and purples. Woo, come on, buddy. <laughs> Such gorgeous fish. And they are chilly right now. But, ooh, ooh. All right. I'm going to come up here. We will get this guy back in the water. A little blood from him. Oh, it's gonna kind of hang out there. All right, there she goes. goes down. Whew. Nice, man. <laughs> that was awesome. That was a heck of a fight. This was just a lovely day to be out on the water, especially for the first part of January in southern Wisconsin. We don't get this lucky that often to go out and experience weather that's above freezing like this and actually get out on open water. Typically, we're ice fishing, so it was a real treat to get out with my friend Colin in his boat. Again, he's a guide. If you would like to look him up to hire him, I'll leave his information in the description below. And that's it for this week's video. There will be a part three coming. I'm pretty sure there was the fight on these fishes so long that uh, this would be an hour and a half long video if I would have put everything in this. So we're going to chop it up into a couple little pieces. We still have musky expos going on. I'll be at Milwaukee if you're watching this the day this video drops. After that, I'll be in Pennsylvania at the, in the first weekend of March at the Pennsylvania Musky Max. And then two weeks after that, I'll be in central Wisconsin in Wausau at the Wisconsin Musky Expo. So that's what we got going on. Of course, hopefully things start warming up here in southern Wisconsin and I can start sneaking out, do a little pike fishing, maybe a little bass fishing, and hopefully we can sneak away and get after some muskies. I appreciate every single one of you watching this nonsense and I will see you on the next video.